Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, well, I'd just be sitting here in the truck talking to myself, looking like a crazy man. Well, that guy over there thinks that right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm crazy. What about it? So, uh, it's been one of them days. It's been one of them days, okay? I, I got up this morning and, of course, uh, had to go to D.C. What's kind of cool is um, we're finding new ways of doing things. And this was actually really cool. Terrence, who I used to work with at um, Reif, uh, Reif International. On top of a hardware store, they have like a whole garden center. It's actually really cool because they actually have plants and gardens and all that stuff. And they have these hydroponic growing things, okay? If you've ever seen like the Mexican chimneys where you've got the bottom down there, so you put the wood in it and then the chimney goes up, it looks kind of like that. You've got a bottom where there's a water tank and a pump. And then they have these uh, nine inch round trays that stack up and you can stack them up as high as you want to and it pumps water up in there and then the roots grow inside of it. So there's no dirt whatsoever. And so they had like three of these set up and they have holes in the side of it. So they had like basil plants, they had strawberry plants and they had like uh, lettuce and stuff. So it's a great, great way of actually having a garden with no dirt in like on your deck and literally they could grow these things. If you want this thing 10 feet tall, although you need a ladder to get to it, you can do that. And he wants me to make like a uh, mahogany cover to go around them. So that's where I had to get up and go do that. And then I got to see, um, I had to go to Home Depot and get some stuff and all that. And then I had to go uh, see E2 Blue. And, you know, E2 Blue, he's my dog and all that, but he's always E2 late. So I sat around waiting for him for almost an hour. Almost, you know, I love I, I love E2, but E2, <laughs> he, he, he always gonna be late. He always gonna he always gonna be late. I, it's just it's you, you got to go ahead and put in the E2 factor, okay? So if he says it's eight minutes, and that's what he did say, you got to figure it's more like twenty five. It, it's that, that's just the way it is when you're dealing with E2. So it, that is what it is. And then, then had to go to uh, to the liquor store to get some specific bottles of wine out in the boonies, okay? Because this is just like, you just can't find the spot anywhere. I, I, I finally found it. I finally found it in a drive through liquor store. But I, I got that. I got it, okay? And so there I thought it was home sailing and everything else. And I said, like, I'm going home. And, and, and then there was an accident on the beltway. Accident on the beltway. So I'm sitting in stop and go traffic and, and things. And, and finally things are cleared up so I can get back home and get the desk loaded up and, and go over and to Mary Lane and, and put the desk up. But the good news is, is that I haven't had to stop for gas. This damn EcoBoost engine in this truck is off the chain. I have literally driven, let's see, wait, 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 how many miles have I driven? I have, I filled up the gas tank. I've used 18.7 miles of gas. I've gone 355 miles and I still got 280 miles worth of gas left. I, I'm just amazed because I'd be filling up my other truck already. And it's got like eight more gallons of gas to fill that sucker up. So I'm happy. I'm real happy. Uh, th this thing literally may pay for itself in the gas savings alone. That's how much gas my old truck used to burn up. I, I don't know why I didn't chase it. But anyway, that's not what, because I, I know what somebody's going to do. Somebody's going to go ahead and say, the conversation starts at 4.40. Yeah, well, that's what you get with me, man. I'm an old dude, and I like to talk, okay? And and my mind just goes all over the place. And if you don't like that, that's cool. You don't have to be here. I, I, I can't believe, though, what I just read. I, I just can't believe it. CBS Sports, and you can take it for whatever you want to. You know, you can say, oh, well, that, that's not really sports news. Everything, all of it is really, it's by what you see and value. There is no necessarily, you know, perfect formula because it's football, dang, it. Football, 
it's no rhyme or reason. Because if this time last year, if you said the 49ers were going to the Super Bowl and you were anybody but a 49er fan, you would have said you smoked crack. But yet, here it was. They went from worst to first to the Super Bowl. Kind of like the Eagles did when they won the Super Bowl. They were on the toilet the year before and, and so on. So this time last year, when they talked about Dak Prescott, you know what they said about Dak Prescott? They said Dak Prescott is a tier three quarterback. Tier three. You know, middle of the pack towards the back of the pack. I argued it, and I said, I think he's better than that. I said, you know, let's look at, he got the Jason Garrett effect, where you now you got Colin Cowherd saying that a coach like Mike McCarthy is worth three points, and if you say Mike McCarthy is worth three points, I'll say Jason Garrett's probably worth minus three points. You know, we had drops galore. We had not the best cast of wide receivers, so we got Amari Cooper. And I say all those things are factors. And people just say, you know, come up with other reasons why they don't believe it. Well, this year, what a difference a year makes because CBS Sports has Dak Prescott as the fifth best quarterback in the NFL. And I had to say, whoa, 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 really? Little old Dak Prescott, little fourth round Dak Prescott, you actually say that he is the fourth, excuse me, fifth best quarterback in the NFL? Man, I'm surprised by that. I, I really am. I, I got to get used to using the backup camera in here. I, I just, I'm old school. I just cannot get used to it. It just seems bass backwards. So I'm going to turn my head like I usually do. So, it, wait, wait, there's more. Wait, wait, there's more. Because this is going to be where... Eagle fans lose their damn mind. Not that they had much mind to begin with. They, they really don't. They, they don't. They, they don't have much mind. But not only did they say that Dak Prescott is the fifth best quarterback in the NFL. They not only said that. They said he's the third best in the NFC behind Russell Wilson and Drew Brees. They're saying Russell Wilson, Drew Brees, Dak Prescott. They're not saying Russell Wilson, Carson Wentz, Dak Prescott. They're not saying Russell Wilson, Tom Brady, Dak Prescott. They're not saying Russell Wilson, Tom Brady, Carson Wentz, Drew Brees, and everybody else, and then Dak Prescott, they're saying Russell Wilson, Drew Brees, Dak Prescott. They are actually saying and giving him credit and saying he's one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. Can, can you believe that? Wow. And this was after, like, you always hear Colin Cowherd say that, you know, Dak Prescott, you know, he's he's kind of like, uh, you know, that girl that's not that attractive, you know, you know what you get when you've got Dak Prescott. He's not great. He won't wow you. Nothing special. He's just the guy. But yet, some people actually think he's one of the better quarterbacks in football. Can you believe that? Wow. Hey, baby. It's my daughter, Kayla. Wow. Wow. Your guys' thoughts? Dak Prescott getting some love and now he's going to have a real coach? This could get dangerous. I know Eagle fans right now, I know Philly 500 is, 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 is he, he's laughing. <laughs> he's giving that laugh just like when they drafted Hurts. That whole laugh of disbelief. Wow. Dak Prescott, fifth best quarterback in the NFL, third best in the NFC. Hmm. Well, I got to go ahead and I, I've got to try and get this desk in here. It's raining. I got some plastic so I can wrap up the top. I'm gonna try and see if I can put the other parts in here. I, I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to abuse my truck. I, I really don't want to. I just don't want to abuse my truck. 
you got to do what you got to do. All right, guys. I will see y'all soon.